I want this to be an eye opener for everybody. And not saying that you are needy, but if you meet needy people that have no boundaries, this is perfect for you to listen to. And if you are too needy and you have no boundaries, this is absolutely perfect for you to listen to. Now, I've been doing this a long time and I meet interesting people that sometimes are way too needy, too controlling. They have to do it this way. They want more and more and more and more. And then when you have a healthy boundary, then they get all freaked out because they're not used to not running the show. And you don't get to run the show. So if you know people that want to control, manipulate, be louder than you, then run. Just run because you start to lose yourself. And I want you to be able to stand up and always have a back, backbone for people that tend to manipulate others. It's my clients come to me. I don't uh, knock at houses. I don't walk around grocery stores. So they are reaching out to me and um, we're on Zoom, so it's not like I can lock my office door and not let them leave until they sign up and pay and drop a little blood on the contract. But there are so many people that you give a little bit and they demand a lot. And then when they don't get their way, they're almost like Karen's. Then they start to blame and manipulate and try to control and turn things around. And as me, as Diane, as a life coach, I cannot allow people to run my business, my schedule. I cannot allow them to call whenever outside of, of hours. Unless, of course, it's an emergency. It's exceptionally important. But just to call after a meditation class, no. To call on a weekend, just to, no. And so I want you to start to ask yourself, am I that person that needs to have it my way or I start to really get defensive and upset at somebody? Because that's a closed mind, an immature mind. And are you being led by some of these people? Are you being led kind of like the old uh, ring in the nose and being pulled by some of these people? And, and I don't want you to have to bow to people that are not taking care of you, but are too selfish and taking care of themselves. So think about this for a minute. As you navigate forward into life, is my personality, my, my loudness, is it overbearing? Because I'm not doing it for, for no reason. I have a purpose. And that is manipulation on a lot of levels. And am I being the one that's sitting there quietly being led by other people? And I want you to change that also. So this is for both sides. I know that I love being of service to people. But I also know what healthy boundaries are. And if we don't keep healthy boundaries, then we start to make ourselves smaller and then get comfortable being small. And then it's easier to take advantage of. I would rather go out to dinner for a table of one than to go out and listen to somebody overly loud, needing so much distractions and attention that you almost set there as a 10, 12 year old mentality. So somebody can be exceptionally large. 
Now, there's a few people that I know in my personal world that are like that. They need to brag. They need to be seen. They need to be loud. They need to be noticed. It's exhausting. I will not speak to them, talk to them, hang out with them. I just won't do it. And then I know a lot of people that are just great people. It is really, it's when they say, hi, how are you doing? That they actually really want to know how you're doing. So when you drop some of these people, there are going to be others that will be able to fill a unhealthy gap with a healthy gap. I want you to look at yourself in the mirror. I want you to have very healthy boundaries. I want you to ask yourself, do you walk around being the victim and it's poor me, I can't do anything right or you've done me wrong. And I don't want you to sit at their table anymore. If you need help getting away from that, then please reach out. If you're the type of person that you feel like Nobody likes me, that I'm too forward, too rude, manipulative, then understand that if you sign up for sessions, that it's not going to go your way because your way is the wrong way. So I'm very thankful that I have very healthy boundaries. That's why I can do what I do and not really get burned out. And I want you to not get burned out in your own life. You may have children to go home to, a family to go home to. You may have beautiful, healthy stories of and dreams that you want to put beautiful energy into. And so we are here to build ourselves up. And we don't need to step on anybody to do that. So whichever side of the coin you're on, there's some work that needs to be done. Thank you.